If I asked a child here in the United States, where is God, most likely he or she would point upward. If I asked a child in India, where is God, he or she would most likely point to him or herself. Despite the strong emphasis of the Catholic Church on the incarnation of God in the person of Jesus, and the strong emphasis of the real presence of Christ in the sacraments which we received, especially the Eucharist, we still often think of God as up there or outside of myself. Yes, we celebrated the Feast of the Ascension two weeks ago and say that Jesus sits at the right hand of God. But we also celebrated Pentecost last week and say that the Spirit of God has been given to us here on earth. The fact of the matter is that we live in God now, right here. It is a total gift. We do not earn union with God or merit it. Our morality, our moral behaviors are a response to union with God, not an earning of union. Once I experience that I am one with God and my neighbor, why would I steal from him and make his life more difficult? Once I experience that I am one with God and my neighbor, why would I think about or treat a person of color differently than a white person? God created us all. God sent his son not to condemn, but to save us from being separated from him and one another. That's the salvation that he longs for, to keep us from separation not only from him, God, but also from one another. Thinking we are not in union with God and all human being, beings, if we think differently, then that's what fosters greed, competition for the goods of the earth, violence, misuse of people and the earth, prejudice and discrimination, and so many other destructive and devastating behaviors. So many of the human tragedies in our world are a result of sin and separation from the truth that we are all one in God. God is here, not just up there. God sent his son to awaken us to our union with, with God and gives us his very spirit so we can be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And so work with him to make a better world and to be in union with him for all time, for all eternity. Not only do our individual choice individual choices to love and serve God and others flow out of a union with God, but so do our efforts to give a compassionate response to those in need. That is why the church guides us to work for immigration reform, respecting the integrity of families, and recognizing that immigrants are brothers and sisters in and through God. That is why Pope Francis constantly encourages us and all people of goodwill to reach out to refugees, victims of human trafficking, the hungry, and the impoverished. And in this past week, he called out to us with these words, we cannot tolerate or turn a blind eye to racism and exclusion in any form, and yet claim to defend the sacredness of every human life. At the same time, we have to recognize that the violence of recent nights is self-destructive and self-defeating. Nothing is gained by violence, and so much is lost. The Pope calls us to gospel truth, because God is here, not just up there. We are in union with God, and through God, in union with every other human being. It is not us and them in this world. We are in God together now, and are meant to be in, with God forever. When we come to the time of spiritual communion this, this afternoon, let Christ speak to you and me in these words. Just try to listen to him say this to us. I am in you, and you are in me. In our union, every person is your neighbor, and the earth is every person's home. I am here, not just up there. <laughs>